Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope the lighting isn't too weird. I don't know if it looks a little bit different, but I'm filming in a different room today. I also have a new phone, so I think, I don't know, I feel like it looks a little bit different. Um, but yeah, today I have a Poundland haul. And I've got a few other bits as well from different places, but I think that this might be long enough, so I'm probably just going to leave it as a Poundland haul. Depending on the length, if I can get through other shops, I will in the same video. If not, then I will cover them in another video. So look at this beautiful bag, starting off with this because you do pay for these. <laughs> um, this is a new collection and I had a bag <laughs> and I just completely forgot. I always forget. I've got them in the car boot and I just never take them with me. So I was at the checkout and I was like, oh, I forgot my bag again. And then they were like, we don't have any more bags, which seems to be the story all the time. And they said they've got these big bags. And I've just got so many of them. So I saw this and I thought, I'm getting it because I absolutely love Bambi. It's one of my favorite like childhood Disney movies. And I just thought it's super cute. This one is it says it's a new collection. I know a lot of people collect these and they turn them into like wall art and cushions and I think it's just amazing. I also am holding the mic. This is a new mic that I've got because I don't have anywhere to place it. Like this this top is really loose and it kind of comes down. So like I don't have anywhere to clip it and it was just flopping around everywhere. So I'm holding it but I, th I feel like it's going to get really annoying especially when I'm trying to show everything. So in Poundland they had like loads of new craft items which I was delighted to see because if you know me by now you know that I'm a crafter so they had these oh my light is just really like I think it's too strong here <laughs> but can you see it yeah yeah so they had these um, wooden hearts in and I just think these are so good for a hand because I used to go to the works and the works is really good for crafting but the prices since COVID have started to go up. I don't know if anyone else has realized that but I used to like just shop so much at the works especially because um, hubby craft is so expensive and the works now their prices have creeped up like so much. So yeah now I'm just so happy that Panhand are coming out with a few things especially the wooden embellishments. You get 30 in a pack by the way. And then the next thing I got were these alphabet stickers. They come in, I think, silver and gold. And I got the silver ones. And again, these are just really good for like DIYs and crafts. Home Bargains also sell it. And I think they might be doing it cheaper there. Because I'm sure that I saw it like 76, 79p. Whereas obviously this is a pound in Poundland. Do you get two in there? 133 pack. I don't know, I think you just get one and then it repeats the letters like three times. Okay guys, I'm gonna have to show you Leo, it's just, he's so cute right now. And I do have someone, one of my watchers is always asking, please can we see the cat's more Fran? So here's a little bit of cat content for you. So I'm sat here on the sofa and Leo's just twirling around on the shelf up there as I'm filming. Are you waiting for treats? He knows he's got some... Uh, food in these bags that's why the next thing that I got are these wooden alphabets of course you can see that I really thought it was a good deal that's why I got three I picked up one of these in the sewing section in Poundland and they're really good like I got one of these online and obviously it was way more expensive so I was really happy to see these just for a pound in Poundland because the one that I've got I use it like as a multi-tool it's not just like scissors in my projects so I use it sometimes like to open things and now the the top there is kind of like damaged so I really was like wanting to get a new one and I was just going to order one online and then when I was in Pan and I saw it and I was like okay I'm definitely taking that with me who else really loves these deep frames? I mean, if you're not a crafter, then I probably wouldn't be buying it. But as a crafter, there's just so much that you can do with them. They really come in handy, like making it into like a jewelry box. There's just so many different things. I tend to make little dioramas in there, like little miniature worlds. Then I also picked up this white card because I've run out. I really wish that printers didn't have an issue with placing white card in them, like mine always jams. So I tend to have to print out 
on paper and then stick it on to some card using like a PVA or something. But yeah, these are really, really good. They're so thick. I'm always using Poundland ones because it's the cheapest as well. Like I've tried Wilco and so many different places and it's just one of the things that I top up on from Poundland. I'm going to leave a link to my crafting channel in the description box as well as the um, pinned comment because a lot of what I haul is actually for crafty DIYs like this. Isn't this really good? Like it looks so much more expensive and I really love that they are solar powered. I love the crackle effect on there as well. Is that picking it up? Also they do this in different colours. So I've got the clear one but they do them in like blue, yellow, maybe a few other colours, probably green. They are for outdoors as well. I love my miniatures so I was so happy to see these miniatures in Poundland and this wasn't in my local branch none of my local branches had this um, they are little trees and they have like a different size they've got a, a larger one and then there was this I thought this is so cute look at it it's a little campfire and I thought that was just going to be really great for like making something autumny because I am starting autumn crafts now and then lastly they had they had a few more by the way I've just chosen my favorite ones this is a little water fountain they're quite there were quite a few that were broken there so you do have to be careful I think they break really easily but I just thought that's so so pretty imagine like adding actual resin on here to make it look realistic or adding little birds drinking from it I think my final thing from like the DIY kind of crafting section are these diamonds. These are actually in the wedding section, which they don't actually have that many things for anymore. I don't know why, but yeah, I grabbed these. And again, this was in a different branch because my branches, my local branches have stopped selling the wedding stuff all together. So when I saw them, I thought I'm going to have to grab some of those. I've just got one pack because I didn't want to <laughs> get too many. Now I'm moving on to some of the beauty stuff. This is again something that I really love and recommend from Poundland. And this is just a pound. They do sell some others now like two pounds going up to four pounds. But I just stick with this because why not? <laughs> it works really well. And my skin is sort of sensitive and it's also a combination. But this really works and I just love it. A really good price as well. Can't go wrong. Again, this is something that I top up on, the tea tree. I love all of the original source products. They're just so, so good. We also pick these up from Poundland. They, they are kind of a new product, actually. I think they've only been there maybe two months now. But my husband always loves them. <laughs> He's always adding them to the basket. He was the one that actually added them to the basket. But they really do come in handy like for, you know, if you're struggling with acne or if you just get the odd spot, you know, here and there. They really, really help. They just help with the scarring, with the healing, with it coming up. I know it's gross, but trust me, they work really well. And then a few more essentials here. I've got Carex. I really love their hand washes, especially the ones that are like fun, you know, the ones that are like cola bottles and strawberries and laces. Oh, they just smell so good. And then I got some Dove bars. I always say Dove. I don't know why. So like <laughs> I have to double take whenever I'm filming. I'm like, did I say Dove or Dove? These are really good if you've got sensitive skin. They're just so, so delicate. And they've got different ones in, but the one that I get is the pink one. Again, just quickly, a few more essentials here. I love Poundland for picking up my essentials. I think that's where I tend to go. There and probably Wilco for, you know, these kind of things. From their food section, I've picked up some sauces. This one is, see what I mean now, it's getting annoying. Let me just show you one at a time. <laughs> so this one is a Nando's Peri Peri sauce, medium. They've got a lot, don't they? But you know what? They don't taste anything like the ones in store at all. I think it's like more fresh, the ones in store. And then these have a longer shelf life. They taste more vinegary and I don't like that. And then the one that I always love. Has anyone tried this? It's absolutely amazing. It is really spicy. So, you know, if you can't tolerate spices, don't try it. Okay, serious question to you all. Has anyone realized that the batteries, the ones that you get from Poundland, even though they're a great bargain, run out like so quickly? 
honestly a lot of things that I put them in they just stop working after maybe a week some day some of the things they just run it just runs out in a few days and I'm like because I don't know what's better for me to get to get like ones that are actually more expensive but last longer I don't know how it works so like how do they last less I don't know maybe they have like less energy in them or something but let me know let me know if you've ever thought the same thing about these batteries and for the cats I've picked up some whiskers I only give them a little bit as a treat because I just I don't like it as a main food and then some more food this time for humans my chocolate fingers I love that Poundland do the family pack for just a pound because I like make sure that I don't buy it from anywhere else like even Asda Morrison's sometimes it's double the amount and it's not even the family pack one I got some more squares I always tell you guys how much I love salt and vinegar and I think oh there's one more one more thing from Poundland Maxine I've done it <laughs> I got some new slippers finally it has been a while it's been a good few months if you don't know one of my favorite things to haul and to buy are slippers mugs also craft things cat things <laughs> they tend to be my downfalls and where my money goes so I mean it has been some time so yeah I got these and they actually look really big now come to, to think of it it is small, but that looks huge. That does not look like a small. I'm a size 3 and I think these just... They look like an 8. I think that must be a wrong label on there. Mm. They're £2.50. And I like the ones where like they have the heel support. So, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm kind of having to grip down on slippers. And that gets a little bit annoying and it's not good for like posture and feet and toes and all of that so I'm trying to be aware of these things now and that's why I chose these ones. So I actually think I'm going to do a little bit of a another haul. So I've got a Wilco haul it's really small because I've put some things away already but this here is one of my favourite things. I filmed a Wilco shop with me and they've got a sale in at the moment. So this is one of the things that I found in the sale and initially it was... 14 pounds and then it was reduced to seven and then I think I got it yeah and then it was reduced furthermore to three pounds and it's an absolutely beautiful roll I know it's only one roll so like if you're doing your walls with it it's not going to be useful that's probably why it's so cheap because there's just one left of it but it's like a, a vintage it's going to be really hard to see but it's kind of like a vintage floral background and it's also got hummingbirds as well so I just thought that's so beautiful. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it, honestly. But maybe there, there you can see like a little bit of the hummingbird there. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it at all. I just had to buy it. If you've got any ideas, let me know. Especially if you are crafty or like DIY kind of lover, then let me know. How cute is this small rolling pin? It's absolutely adorable. Had to pick it up again, don't know why. <laughs> don't know what I'm going to use it for. <laughs> but it was just so cute to pass up on. And I think it was just like a pound. And then I bought some of these spatulas because I use it quite a lot. Every morning actually, so sometimes it's still in the dishwasher. So I thought I need like two or three just in case it's still in the dishwasher. On my shop with me, I mentioned that I really love the Wilco skin range. They've got it actually is called skin they've got or skin therapy rather they've got lots of different things in they've got some toners they've got makeup removers uh, lotions some shower stuff as well lip balms and they're all just like a pound or 79p they are so cheap and they're really really good especially if you have sensitive skin and you don't want something like exfoliating or really rough on your skin if you just want to take your makeup off. I mean I use a toner for t removing my concealer because that's if I do bother putting makeup on it tends to just be concealer but this removes it and tones your skin at the same time so I never really get the the makeup remover and the toner separately I just use this for both. If you love making like miniatures and fairy gardens, in Wilco they have these party favours and there's lots of unicorns 
and it was so cheap. I can't remember the price, but I think it was like a pound or 79p, something like that. I don't know how eight, it says eight unicorn figurines. It looks a lot more than that. Doesn't that look more than eight? I suppose maybe because of the size, but yeah, they are just really good, I thought, especially if you like were to do a fairy garden. But I'm probably going to give them some kind of makeover just to make it look less childish. But yeah, I thought they were so good. I wish they had other ones, like different things. Also, if you do decoupage or if you don't and you just want napkins, these will also reduce to 79p. Like, how many do you get in there? Not that many just eight so actually if i had known that there was just eight in there that's not that great of a price but i did like the design i, I do love that they've got quite a few different diy bits in wilco as well like different hooks different screws that kind of thing and i got this because i want to make myself a lamp using some powerland items i've never done it before but I'm, I'm hoping i could do it so i bought this little piece because i thought i might need it and it was again just a few pens, 79p, something like that. They tend to be 79, 76, I don't know why. I always prefer the large oval compass to rem to like cleanse your face or to remove makeup. It's just so much easier because you, you just have like one on one side, one on the other and you're pretty much done. Whereas the little ones are like well, this area and then a new one for this area, you know. So yeah, I can't really find them in that many places. So. When I was in Wilco, I saw these in their 100 pack and they look really good. I do like it when they're like pleated both ways and sometimes, I don't know, they're really thin but these, these look really good. Also if you have pets, cats or dogs, I think they do other stuff as well for small animals. So even if you've got like guinea pigs, that kind of thing, hamsters, they have really good stuff for pets in Wilco, really good quality, good prices. I always get the stuff for the cats there, so they, these are some cat yogurts and they do sell these in different places but I think the cheapest I've seen is Home Bargains and Wilco. Oh I just found something that I got from Poundland, <laughs> this plant stand, I thought it was really really nice and just definitely thought I could do a little bit more with it than what it looks like and what it seems. Right, I've decided I'm also going to go through some stuff that I got from Home Bargains. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it doesn't matter, right? I hope you're enjoying it. So from Home Bargains, I've got these set of two cork trivets. I don't know how you say that. Never heard of it, to be honest. And I don't really know what other people do with these. What do you guys do with these? Because, again, I'm going to be using them for DIYs. Hello, Neil. Are you going to join us? He's probably given up waiting for me to give him treats. I'm sorry. Oh, this is, you know what, this is so bright. I need to dim. Like, I feel like I look like a ghost right now. <laughs> I need to dim one of these lights. Give me a minute. I bet everyone's thinking, oh my God, that's so much better. Even I'm thinking that I can finally see, see myself and see everything that I'm sharing. I'm so sorry, I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I've got, I've got the light on here and these are quite bright lights already because this used to be a factory. So yeah, they're really huge lights. And then I've got an Ikea lamp in the corner that you guys probably saw when I was showing Galil. So it's super bright. And then I've got the, the light off the camera thing, the tripod holder thing. So yeah, it's super bright, I'm so sorry. I got this from Home Bargains and I love it. Really, really love it. It's one of my favorite buys, I mean, it's floral and the colours are beautiful. It says all you need is love and cake and I just love the size of it and I love the fact that it's like round and it's a circle. And then they had another one, exactly the same saying and the same design but in the typical, you know, rectangular tray. But I just thought that that size didn't work for me that well and I just really loved it. So there's Leo in the background doing his scratching post. I actually need replacing. And then from Home Bargains, I've also bought a ton of other cat treats. They yeah, have them in different flavours. If you've got a cat, let me know how many you have, what their names are, their ages. It's funny because... Okay, Leo, I see you. It's funny because my cats just love different ones. So this one here is milk and yogurt. Leo hates it. 
but his sister loves it and that's the only one she eats and all the others Leo loves and she won't touch. I've got some more things for the Kit Kat. This one here is just a singular pouch and then a new cat toy which I'm yet to try with them. Quite excited because they're really fussy. They don't play with hardly anything, but they do like things like that look pretty realistic, which is gross for us, especially when it's dark and you can't see and you just see something that looks like a rat and you actually think it's a rat because sometimes they bring rats in. So yeah, joys of having a cat. And then this, which they both really, really love, but Leo is obsessed with them. Leo, you want some treats? That will have to do. Hopefully he can have patience. I know I've been filming for quite a long time. And I've also closed the door so he can't go out. Look at how huge this noodles is. Raymond. This is by Maggie. I really wanted to try it out because I do love Maggie. I've got like the hot Maggie sauce. Does anyone else use that? These are really nice for like adding stir fry to them. And like I said, it's the biggest pack I've ever seen. Oh, dinner for two, so it's meant to be two portions in there. But I feel like noodles, they don't fill you up. Like, they just, it just feels like a snack, but then I feel like it's a meal, so I would feel bad to eat again after eating noodles. They've also got this flavour, chicken curry. I think that's one of my favourite flavours, actually. But one thing I really don't like about noodles, the fat content in there is so high. Like, 18 grams of fat in just half of this packet. And, you know, you feel like, what's the point if I'm not even feeling full? It doesn't feel like it does much for you. <laughs> and the sugar in there is 14.6 grams, so that's also quite high. I do love home bargains. They offer a lot, like, even in the food range, the pet range, everything. They've, they've got quite a lot in there. So I've got this gel frazy jar. You know, I don't know if I've ever had a gel frazy from a restaurant. I tend to go for, like, bolty... Bruna, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah, um, these are medium and they've got the spices on there but I tend to just throw them away because I don't know what's in there. Look at Leo over there waiting <laughs> for me to chuck another treat, shall we? Shall we give him one? Go on then. <laughs> so this is the last thing that I got from Home Bargains. I told you in my shop with me, I just released it a few days back, so that I really like this Australian pink clay mask, brightening and detoxifying. Has anyone tried it? I really hope it works well. I've got a thing for like skin products, it's one of my favourite things to buy. But this has so many things in there, it's not just the Australian pink clay, it's got aloe, rich hazel, rosemary, vitamin A, E and C, plum extract. So there's, there's a lot of good stuff in this. I know I mentioned I'm going to keep this video short and that I'm probably only going to do Poundland and then I ended up doing everything Wilco, Home Bargains, Poundland and now I'm on Pound Stretcher but I honestly don't have that many things so I'm going to try to be quick. These are suitable for vegetarians so before anyone tells me, no, these are suitable for vegetarians. It's got a sign on there for vegetarians and vegans. So this is beef and then they have another one. This one is the onion gravy. Again, suitable for vegans and vegetarians. So I actually picked these up from Pound Stretcher already and I used it for a project. So then I had to go in and pick another one up because I really love it. And I think that the price is also really good, which I can't remember what the price is, but going by me, you know that it's a good price. I also picked up these test tubes because I thought they would look really nice spray painted and added to like some wood and then you can place some flowers in there. Isn't that going to be so beautiful? This is another thing that I got for DIYs because I thought it kind of looks like a wood log. So I thought if I spray paint it and kind of distress it, I can kind of get away with the fact that it could look like wood, like real wood. This says it's a crimp saucer. It was in the garden planting section and I really love the Pound Stretcher garden range this year. It's actually really nice. If you haven't seen it, I have filmed a Pound, a pound Stretcher shop with me with all of that in there. Again, I got these. So these are cocoa peat discs. 
I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. I have no idea. I actually don't know much about gardening, but I do love getting stuff like my fairy gardens. And then these champagne flutes I thought were a good price. I mean, I don't know. I haven't compared how many you get in Poundland and how many you can get in the pound stretcher. But these are just obviously plastic, 89p. How many do you get in there? Six? Is that a good price? I don't know, but I'm, I'm only going to probably need like a few for some projects. And then lastly, this is my last item from the whole hauls, all of the hauls. <laughs> I finally got there. This is, it says it's got like some oil, argan oil, monoi, again something I have no idea how you say, blossom scent. And so it's a shower cream. Okay, I'm going to end this haul now because I've finished anyway, but it's also 1am, believe it or not. And it's time for me to get my PJs on and get some sleep. <laughs> I really hope that you have enjoyed watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.